y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for a, another part of our Sims 4 LP, which I still don't have a name for yet, but that's okay. You know what? For now, we're just going to call it Sims 4 LP, and then we're just going to kind of uh, go with the flow, you know, and once, you know, we, we figure out a name, you know, we might have to get a story going a little bit, but... It's fine. We're just going to call it Sims 4 LP. But anyways, we're back with Cassie and Kai. And yeah, thank you guys so much for all the positive feedback on the first part. I'm glad y'all love this family and love their story. I think it's going to be really, really cool. So one of the questions that I asked you guys in the last part was, what do you think Cassie should do? She has big decision to make. She can either take Danica's offer and join the culinary career and kind of get a jump start. She'll be making more than she would start at the bottom of the journalism career. And a lot of people said that, you know, obviously Cassie should go for her dream, which is like journalism and writing and what she's good at. And, you know, I thought about it. And honestly, I was considering going ahead and just because Cassie's such a good friend, I would imagine that Cassie would just feel like she owes Danica, you know, something you know because she's helped her so much in their friendship so I was like you know I, I probably could see her taking that job but then and not working out but then I also had somebody mention that you know it could cause a strain on their relationship and I started thinking about that and I was trying to get in Cassie's head so I think Cassie you know talked to her dad and she was just really trying to figure out what was the best option for her and she knows that Danica made it clear whatever you choose you know what, it's, it's fine. I'm not going to be upset if you want to do your own thing. That's fine. So, Cassie thought about it and she knows that she would have, you know, a lot more money if she started with Danica. But, she's going to go ahead and follow her dreams. And she's going to start at the very bottom of the journalism career and just kind of see where that takes her. So, first things first, we're going to go ahead and get the... Well, I guess it's like the writing career, not journalism. But we're going to take the journalist branch, I believe. Um, I don't know. It may change to Arthur. We're just going to let her, you know, see what she likes best. So she is now a writer's assistant at Walrus Books. <laughs> so she'll start working uh, in two days. It's Monday, so she'll start working Wednesday. So her hours are 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., which is really long hours. But, you know... Um, she's got to start somewhere. So she's really excited, super excited. And she did, of course, go ahead and tell Danica that she decided to go ahead and join the journalism career. And, of course, Danica was like, well, that's good. That's great. And Cassie was like, but, you know, whenever you do want to open up your own restaurant, I'd love to even partner with you or help do whatever I can because that is Danica's dream and she supports our dream so we want to support her dream as well she's honestly just a really good friend so anyways I do believe oh uh, well Kai did have to use the restroom but I'm pretty sure he pottied on himself so before his hygiene goes down I do believe that we need to go ahead and um oh my gosh how do I do this uh let's pick him up and I think we have to change his diaper because I'm yeah I'm pretty positive I just looked in a he, oh, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> I think he did use the restroom. So we're going to, yeah, we're going to go ahead and change his diaper before he gets too stinky because I don't really want to give him a bath right this second. Also, it looks like Megan Thomas is calling. So Megan, for those of you who don't remember from the first part when I was explaining the many relationships, Megan is our neighbor who is also a single mom. And she said, I heard someone famous uh, wait, what? <laughs> I heard there's someone famous over at the lounge. Do you want to go check it out? You know, we're going to have to pass on that because we want to spend a little bit of time here with Kai uh, because we also have some plans today. We're going to go ahead and text Martin back. Martin asked us if we wanted to go on a date tonight, which, once again, a little refresher. Martin is a guy that she just met. They've been seeing. She has a crush on him. She thinks he's really, really cute. I'm not really sure, you know, his baggage, not really sure, you know, his reputation, that's something that, you know, we have to figure out, and we need to protect Cassie, but also, I'm really, really excited, I did mention that there is a lot of other Sims in this save file that we have yet to meet, but I also asked you guys to 
submit some sims, you know, to place in my world, whether it was potential love interests or friends, and my girls, the Simpanions, I'm not really sure which one it was that I was talking to that was messaging me on Twitter, but they told me that they really enjoyed the LP and they created a family, and I love them. Like, I'm going to try so hard not to, like, sway her towards, um... Damien is his name, but we're not going to like force it. I'm going to let Simfate do its thing and hopefully they'll run into each other. But I'm rooting for him. Y'all, if we meet him, which, you know, I'm, I'm probably go all over this <laughs> world until we do meet him. I promise you, y'all are going to love them and their story. But I'm not going to tell you that yet until we meet him. But, you know, if you are listening to this, watching this, and you want to submit some Sims, Go ahead and do that. Like I said, it can be friends. It can be, you know, kids. Because, of course, you know, we're going to be playing Kai as he ages up. And I don't know where he's going. What is he getting himself into? Oh, he's going out here to make a mess. That's great. So, it's currently springtime in Oasis Springs, which is kind of cool weather. But it's still sunny. I really want to get him a pool. But I think I may wait until it starts to warm up a little bit. Um... But, okay, you shouldn't let your kid run around outside. She's probably like, oh, my God, where did he go? So, <laughs> let's go out here and, oh, my gosh, here he goes. Here he goes. He has acquired the imagination skill. I'm sure he has. But she is like, oh, my God, where did he go? <laughs> She's like, Kai, you cannot just... You can't just go outside. I guess I'm going to have to put a lock on the door. She's like, no. <laughs> All right, so let's pick him up. And take him back inside. Um, but yeah, we do have a date later with Damien. Like I said, let's go put him down inside. I'm thinking we're probably... Okay, I know what we're going to do. I filmed this a lot. Okay, I worked really hard. And I'm still not done. Just trying to fill up this world. Because, okay... I'm sick of the, like, base game world because, obviously, I just want to switch things out. And then, of course, New Crest is, like, empty. But also, I've been playing a ton in Little Simsy Save File just because it's, like, a masterpiece and I, I love it. But I play in it so much that those Sims, her Sims, are becoming, like, repetitive to my LPs. So, I really wanted to add my own families and own lots into this LP, which they're not my own lots, but lots that I found on the gallery. And I found a really cool one. It's uh, kind of like a off-brand or knockoff, supposed to be inspired by um, Dave and Buster's, which is like a arcade slash drinking bar type thing, which is really, really cool. Uh, so I think that's where they're going to go. I was going to say, you know, we could go to dinner or something, but, you know, they're young and... He's trying to impress her. They want to have a good time. So he's going to take her there. I don't even remember what it's called. But, yeah, she's excited about it. She does want to kiss someone. So, I mean, they may share their first kiss. What else? She wants to practice dancing in a floor mirror. Another thing that I really want to focus on in this LP, because it's something that I never do, <laughs> usually when I play in gameplay or my... Um, LPs or anything like that I never go off their whims like I'm like oh yeah that sounds good but like the little things you know that adds to their points which helps us get more traits and more stuff you know satisfaction points and rewards and also we have to um, complete our soulmate aspirations so that's something that I want to work on with this LP as well Anyways, she's going to have some lunch real quick. And what is Kai doing? Um, he's just wandering around. He is into everything. But no, 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 no. <laughs> she's like, ah, nope. <laughs> Come back inside. <laughs> so he's going to go inside and play with his um, blocks for a little bit. And like I said, we're just going to hang out here with him. I'm probably about to switch off camera for a little bit. You know, just kind of like teach him how to walk and talk and work on his skills. I'm sure y'all don't want to see that. It's not very interesting. And then we're going to pick back up with our date tonight with Martin. All right, so we are at Dave and Bowlers. That was the name of this lot, which is really, really cool. It's like a little bowling alley bar area downstairs. Um, and then upstairs, we have a little arcade. So it's really, really cute. I love it. I think they're going to have a great time. But anyways, this is Martin Perez. Um... Yeah, he doesn't look very interested. You know, ask us on a date and then, you know, order us a drink and just ditch us. So we are officially, like, on a date, so we have to fulfill that. And the reason I did that and not just have them, like, you know, hang out is because she does have that soulmate aspiration. And I kind of want to, you know, see, um, 
see where that goes and, you know, see if we can fulfill that. But anyways, looks like we're talking to Mr. Uh, Brent. <laughs> I always get him and Brent mixed up because their names are so similar. But, oh my God, look at Miss Prez. Her outfit is so cute. I love her style. She's so girly, but uh, laid back at the same time. So she changed her outfit, made sure she looked precious for her first date. You know, she hasn't been on a date in a while, but anyways, they came upstairs to, you know, challenge each other and play this game of foosball. So hopefully things go well. Like I said, I'm not really familiar with Mr. Martin. You know, don't really know much about him. I don't believe we know really any of his traits, do we? No. We don't even know what he does for a career. We just met him out one night with Danica and Megan and they exchanged numbers, did a little bit of flirting. She definitely has a crush on him and she definitely wants to get to know him and kiss someone. So let's see if we can make that happen. But anyways, let's just have them play a little bit and then we're going to get to know him, have some deep conversations because while she is young and she you know, I've said this in the first part. She has um, the tendencies to go for, like, the bad boys. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know if she's changed that much to where she kind of has, like, these higher standards. But she she does want to consider if she has a son. She wants him that you know, have a good father figure in his life. But, you know, sometimes she gets caught up in her feelings and, like, the lust of a relationship, which, you know, been there, done that. I can relate, definitely. But let's just real quick skim the place and see if we have any other sims here I low-key have been, you know, want her to run into. And doesn't look like I do. I'm not seeing anybody, um interesting anybody that i had in mind but anyways all right you guys come on let's wrap this up we really need to sit down and have some deep conversation so i guess we can come over here and sit together um and let's just like get to know him i'm um, like i said i hope he has a job what if he doesn't even have a job cassie girl if he doesn't have a job okay, you better run because you need that support right so let me go ahead and pause this real quick so i can get it in a flow okay let's ask him about his career Okay, so yeah, he's unemployed. That's not good. But you know what? She's like, oh, you know what? I'm not, like, gonna judge. <laughs> she's thinking to herself, can't judge. I mean, I've been unemployed for a few months now. And she's like, oh, well, I mean, you know, what are you thinking about doing? He's like, no, just trying to, like, figure it out. So we learned that he is a romantic. And she's like, yeah, you know, I feel you. I was kind of in that same boat. I just recently joined, you know, the journalism career. And I'm just gonna kind of follow my dreams. And she, she's telling him all about that. Let's go ahead and uh, can we... We need to have a deep conversation with him. What is this question? Do you have children? I've never seen that before. Where did this come from? I've ne I swear I've never heard this. Do you have children? Do you have any siblings? Oh, I love that. He said, I don't have kids. Okay, she's telling him about her son, um, Kai. And he's like, oh, that's cool. And he's an only child. She's like, wow, really? I'm an only child, too. So we have a little bit in common. Wow, I don't know. Am I behind on something? Did that come with a get famous something that like i'm not familiar with ask for money i have never seen that either but anyways where is he going girl hey your neck hurt um, not my problem uh oh bear, is this is it bear night oh oh it looks like it's bear night right it's like he's coming down here to get him another drink all right so we're actually going to come down here and try to get a little bit flirty with him because um, that's part of our goal is to have both Sims be flirty at the same time. And she also really wants to have a kiss with someone. And like I said, she just thinks he's super hot. You know, he is the definition of her type. And, um, you know what? You know, sometimes you have a type until you meet somebody that you didn't know was your type. You know, it's kind of like what happened with me. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe he's not all that bad. I'm a little concerned he doesn't have a job. Uh, but I want to, like I said, let's get a little romantic with him. Let's um, flirt with him. I wish that she would stand up and kind of like get on his level. But okay, he's <laughs> digging it. He's like, okay, you girl, see you. You look good today. All right. He's got to use the restroom. So, of course, he's probably about to like dip out and go pee and kind of like ruin our conversation right here. Um, okay, so we did complete the main goal which was to socialize with your date 10 times so it looks like we have like a gold level date which is good all right so um it doesn't really matter if we both get flirty at the same time now i guess but you know i still want to make that happen so uh, i wish you would stand up because you know 
Okay, so she just became good friends with him, which is pretty good, you know? I mean, they started off very strong. Oh, wait, okay, hold up. I see she's a little bit flushed in the face, so why is that? Um, drunk. Oh, she's drunk. <laughs> so I did add the um, Kawaii Stacy level. I hope I'm right. I think that's the creator of this mod, the um, Slice of Life mod, which is a must-have for your game to make it more realistic. It gives them like these realistic buffs, so once you are sims drink, they get a little flushed and drunk, which is really accurate um, and realistic. So what is her problem? What, what is she What is she freaking out over? Unbearable from a nearby bear. Okay, so she's a little tense because of the bear, I guess. I don't know. Is that her problem? But anyways, I'm going to have... Oh, she can already ask him to be her boyfriend. We're not going to do that. You know what? We're going to go ahead and just kind of go for the first kiss here. Um, you know, right here in front of everybody and their mom in front of the bears. They're going to be our witness that, you know, we, we got Mr. Martin, you know. He, he's interested. So, oh, okay. So, they just had their first kiss. So, it looks like they clearly are having a great time. They didn't bowl. They've just been drinking and just getting to know each other, like I said. Now, I do want to see if we can... Uh, get to know him again. I'm not really seeing that option come up. I really want to find out what his other traits are because, you know, we are still trying to find out about him. So far we know that he is romantic, but sometimes just because you're romantic doesn't mean that you're going to be a good boyfriend or a potential spouse. It may mean you're a player. I'm not really sure. <laughs> so we still are, you know, kind of have our guard up with him. But like I said, she's young. He's cute. She's looking for a good time. Not that she just wants to, you know, be friends with benefits or anything, but she is kind of, like, keeping her distance. <laughs> Everybody here is, like, getting so drunk. It's so funny. I love it. <laughs> but, anyway, she's getting a little bit tired, and it is midnight, and it looks like our date is starting to wrap up. Yep, it's over now, so... All right, legendary date. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and let's give him a kiss or a romantic hug. Um, oh, I mean, really, we just had our first kiss with him, but we can't <laughs> we can't give him... <laughs> what? We can't even give him a, a hug by or a kiss by? Or, I don't know. I guess they're both, like, really tired or something. Okay, here here's the option. Don't leave. Okay, we're going to give him... An, Em, em, I'm getting ahead of myself. We're going to give him an embrace. You know, we could give him a tender little kiss by, but, you know, she doesn't want to seem like that girl. So, you know, one kiss is all you get on the first date. I'll see you later. <laughs> They're both really exhausted. Um, so, we're going to Uber back home. Okay, we're not, okay, obviously we don't have cars in The Sims, but we're going to be responsible and we're going to take a taxi or Uber back home. And we're going to swing by and pick up Kai because Danica actually is watching him. All right, so it is the next morning. Kai and Cassie both decided to sleep in for a little bit. And as soon as they got up, um, she was already getting ready to go into the city and visit her dad. Because, like I said, her dad does live in the city. When she actually got a text from Megan saying, Hey, you know, Geek Cog's in town. Do you want to hang out? And y'all thought about it. And I figured, why not? So we are here at Geek Con with Megan. So let me formally introduce you to Megan Thomas. She's super duper pretty. They kind of resemble each other a little bit. But... Yeah, she's so far been a great friend, and our girl is, like, starving right now. I'm not really sure why my game has, like, a little bit of a lag to it right now. I'm not really excited about that. Um, oh, my gosh. I love how every time I say, oh, you know what? We're, like, visiting our dad, and, you know, and he's watching Kai for us. <laughs> he shows up everywhere we go, but, you know, we're going to pretend that that's not him. <laughs> but anyways... Yeah, we're going to come over here and get a hamburger. Now, the main reason I did want to come into the city for Geek Con is because I want to see uh, what Sims are here that we can run into. Because, you know, like I said, uh, I have got a lot of Sims in this save file. You know, potential love interest. So, you know what? We're just going to have a glance around here. Have a little sneak peek and see who's around. Oh, no. Oh, no. And, of course, <laughs> Brenna's here. Okay, so... <laughs> Refresher. Brenna is uh, Kai's uh, dad's, uh, Cassie's baby daddy's wife, Whew, which we ran into her and Elliot, which is, you know, Mr. Baby Daddy himself. 
we ran into them at the cafe in the last part. Dad, okay, we were pretending that we didn't see you here, but hi, how are you? <laughs> Anyways, we ran into Elliot and Brenna, and a lot of people were like, you know, I'd really like to see a lot more drama and interaction with Elliot, you know, being the baby daddy. And he did not speak to her, she didn't speak to him, and let me tell you guys, there's gonna be some drama with him, I promise you. Uh, I do believe that the only reason he didn't speak to her that day is because Brenna was there. And like I said, Brenna doesn't really know for sure what happened, but she is suspicious of Cassie's baby and possibly being, you know, her husband's love child, which, you know, she doesn't really want to, you know, ask straight up because that's not an answer she really wants to know. Um... But yeah, I really, really do think that he's going to reach out to Cassie. And if not Cassie, he's really going to try to reach out to Kai. Or Kai, once he gets older, is probably going to start looking for answers on who his father is. I think most kids do. He's not ignorant to the fact that he doesn't have a dad. He's still young. He's about three years old. But, you know, he, he knows. He knows. He knows that he is not living the traditional family life, you know. Uh, which, I mean, he might not because he's so young. But... If he doesn't, he's going to find out soon, and he's definitely going to ask some questions. But anyways, of course, I'm not seeing anybody else interesting here, which is disappointing. I mean, out of all people, Brenna is going to be the one. Um, Victor Fing, not interested. I mean, I guess since we did tell Megan we was going to come meet her, I guess we should probably come over here and... Um, you know, talk to her for a little bit, discuss interests, I don't know, kind of see what she's been doing. I do want to plan a little play date with Kai and uh, Millie, which is her daughter, so you guys can meet Millie. She's absolutely adorable, and I think her and Kai are going to be really good friends growing up. Um, but like, oh, Elliot, oh, see, I told you. I mean, why is it out of all the, all the Sims here, uh, I mean, really? <laughs> Okay, so we, we don't know that that's him because obviously he's in his little Darth Vader outfit sitting right next to Megan. What a creep. I'm telling you. Part of me thinks he's like stalking her. <laughs> he always is around, isn't he? So he's like watching her and honestly, you know, where's Brennan? She's a little bit preoccupied. You know, he might actually come up to her and um, try to talk to her. I don't really know. Maybe he's just going to walk away. I'm not really going to force anything, but like I said, uh, he is keeping his distance, but he's he's not as far away as she thinks, which sounds really creepy, but I do believe that he's interested in his son's life, so I, I think he's keeping tabs and watching Kai from afar. But like I said, he did offer his help. Who do we have here? <gasps> okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Freaking out. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Looks like we went to this stand, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, so. Um, okay. <laughs> this is Damien Becker, you guys. And Damien Becker is actually. Oh, their last names are very familiar or similar. Becker and Beckett. But anyway, so this is the guy. This is the Sim that the Simpanions created for me. Y'all. Is he not handsome? Oh my god, he is so freaking handsome. Honestly, it's fate. I'm gonna come over here and give him a friendly introduction because, like I said, we ordered our food. We've kind of been like giving him the side eye. He's been giving us the side eye. We're like, he's cute. Um, okay, you know what? Bjorn, Bjorn, how? No, are you leaving? Like, don't, don't leave. Are you coming to say hi? Oh my gosh, please come say hey to me. Oh, hey. <laughs> She's like, hi. Wow, that hamburger was so good. <laughs> Play it cool. Okay, he came and sat down by us. See, you guys, I'm not forcing anything. Like, this is Sim Fate. Y'all, Simpanions. Hey, whichever, I don't remember who was that created this. I don't think I, I even asked. But whoever created him for me, thank you. I love him. And um, I'm not going to force things. Like I said, we're just going to, like, get to know him a little bit. But anyways, and for those of you who are curious, I will go ahead and tell you their story. But not yet. I said I'll go ahead, but... I'm not going ahead right now. <laughs> We're going to wait until we kind of like get to know him a little bit. But anyways, he's taking him a little break and he's just kind of, you know, just chatting with her. Which is, you know, casual, nothing, you know, nothing major, nothing like scandalous or anything. He's like, okay, well, I got to get back to work. It was nice meeting you. And she's like, yeah, you too. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he's so cute. But anyways, you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here because uh, it's been pretty eventful. We've had a lot we had a lot happen um 
We have some relationships forming. We have a romance. We have a possible new friendship. I don't know. But, yeah, she's feeling a little bit uncomfortable. I don't know. I think she misses Kai. And I definitely want her to go back home. We're going to end this event. I'm going to have her go back home because she does have to work tomorrow. And so I want her to spend the rest of the day with Kai. Um, you know, just kind of, you know, love up on him a little bit since she is no longer going to be a stay-at-home mom. But anyways, you guys, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and we'll wrap this up here. So if you guys liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. Leave your comments, suggestions, what you think in the comments down below. And if you want to submit any Sims to me, um, let me know in the comments that you want to do that. Message me on Twitter. Let me know. I need to know your ID, your origin, so I can go find them afterwards. I think it's going to be really fun because I want your guys' help when it comes to this LP and doing the storytelling. And so I want y'all to be involved. So definitely make me some more Sims for Cassie and Kai. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank y'all for watching and I will talk to y'all later. Bye. I don't know what I should do and I wish you